This is video two of how to use the Conduit Wizard with PlanSwift to take off Conduit. Okay, so first I want to explain where a user guide is so you can print it out and have the written instructions for using the Conduit Wizard and the PlanSwift connector. So I'm going to go to the home page of Red Rhino now and show you where that is. This is the home page of Red Rhino. I logged in. And from the home page, you're going to want to click on User Guides right here. You'll click on User Guides. And I'll show you what it looks like to download the um, User Guide for PlanSwift. And once you click on User Guides from the home page, down at the bottom here, you'll see a box called PlanSwift. And the instructions to use the connector um, are here called PlanSwift Connector version 2.0 guide okay so you can click on that you can download it you can print it out those are the written instructions for using the conduit wizard and the connector okay now back to PlanSwift okay now I'm going to proceed to show you the basics of using the conduit wizard with PlanSwift how you'll roll off or I should say measure off the blueprints using the con and using the conduit wizard you'll input the conduit runs um, and eventually they'll go in or the materials will go into Red Rhino. Now I'm, I have PlanSwift open. I'm going to minimize the, the uh, uh, connector here which has the Conduit Wizard open. I'm going to minimize that. I want to explain something to you first of all and foremost. On the left hand side over here, or let me say it this way, I have PlanSwift open and I'm on a roof plan right now. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, this for as an example of how to use the how to measure conduit use the conduit wizard but that said at the top you see I have the home tab opened on the left hand side it displays the pages of the um, blueprints that are displayed now that said down here I'm on the tab called pages and bookmarks if I click on takeoff summary it shows the name of the job in plan swift and the folders which are sections in PlanSwift. Now as I input materials, those materials will land or appear in these folders. Okay, now that said, I'm going to explain how to get started doing takeoff um, and using the Conduit Wizard. First thing you want to do is I, you'll have to find the conduit. So I'll go into products, click the plus sign. I'm going to go down to 7000 because I know the conduit is there. And when I click on, here, let me open this up a little bit wider. Here we go. So you can see this better. I'm going to click on Conduit and Supports, little plus sign right here. And let me say that this menu here mimics what's in Red Rhino. If you opened Red Rhino and went into Product 7000, the menu looks just like this. I'm going to click the plus sign, and I'm going to take off EMT. But notice here, this is where your conduit is. Here's a metal clad cable, hospital grade MC cable, um, EMT, there's your rigid GRC conduit, schedule 40 PVC, schedule 80, and so on. Now I'm going to select EMT to do some takeoff. When I click EMT here, it populates the different sizes from half inch to four inch. Now here's what you need to know. Um, bef just just to, to explain it, in order for me to start digitizing and measuring, I'll be clicking on this green dot. Now before that, that said, I want you to understand that before you start taking off conduit, either branch or feeder conduit, you want to really take a look at the blueprints and decide where you have to measure to and from. This is again as a roof plan. I'm going to move it around here and I'm going to blow it up a little bit. I'm, uh, I have a, a wheel, a, th a finger wheel or a thumb wheel on my mouse and I just roll it and it blows up the plan bigger. Okay. Or I could click zoom in or zoom out here to make it larger or smaller. Okay, now that said, I'm going to do a conduit with, with uh, example of a conduit run just feeding some roof GFI outlets. Okay, so again, you want to look and see exactly what you need to do here before you start. Now, the way to get started is I'm going to go over here and click on the green dot, and when I do, it opens up a window here and I selected the green dot next to half inch, that's what I want to take off. Okay, It opened up a window. Here's where you input the section that you want the materials to be loaded into. Now, in this case, it's in the correct section, but I'm just going to click the drop down right here and show you that I could, I, I could select and input this takeoff into any section I want. I am going to select power, then I click OK, and you'll see that once I click OK, the digitizer lights up 
And that means as I roll across here or click across here, it's going to do the measurements. Now let me show you just the basics of this, of how to get started with it. Now upon looking at the blueprint here, I realize that the roof outlets, these three roof outlets, there's one here, one here, and one here, they're all fed from panel LA circuit 14, okay? So I'm going to roll off half inch EMT with three number 12s. I'll show you how I'll do that, okay? I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm basically gonna tie them together and then I'm gonna run um, from one to where I think the panel is. Now here's something else where I, when I say where I think the panel is, I actually verified that the panel's down below um, down below the roof here in, in about this location. So I'm going to end up in that location to feed these panels. Now that's it. Again, I'm just going to roll and, and tie these together, measure them. So I'm going to click here to start. I just left click and draw a line across here. And as I do, you see it measures the distance here because I scaled the plans. I'm going to click here to turn the corner and I'm going to go down. And then I'm going to click here to catch this receptacle. I'm going to go over here, click here, and click here, and again, see how it's sh still totaling the conduits. Now, each time I click, it starts over with a measurement, but it is actually measuring the total distance. Now, I'm going to go across here. I know the panel's in this location, and I know the panel is actually about 20 feet um, below the ceiling here, but, or rather, I should say below the roof. I'm going to just kind of pan the... The, the panel up here, I'm going to roll an extra 20 feet um, to get the riser, okay, to go up through the roof or to the roof. So I'm going to roll, I'm going to click here and then roll down here about 20 feet. That's close enough. So I'm going to double click now to stop and then I'm going to click the digitizer ball at the top here and stop rolling or stop counting. Now you'll see that as I input or rather rolled across this it came up with a footage and it input that footage here. Now as I did that down here is where the conduit wizard is. I'm going to open up the conduit wizard but I want to point something out. This is actually several runs of conduit right? There's a run of conduit between this outlet and this outlet that's one run. There's an, a run between this outlet and this outlet that's two runs and there's a uh, run that goes down to the panel, which is three runs, okay? You have to know that when you use or input this into the conduit wizard. So I'm gonna open the conduit wizard now, and here we go. Now what happened was it pre-populated the conduit type, which is EMT, half inch, and it pre-populated the die cast connectors or fittings here. Now here's what I have to do. I have to set up the conduit application and then populate this part over here, okay? Notice that it already did the measured length, 155.34 feet. So I'm gonna set the, the application at plus 20 feet, because I have to run the conduit way up, okay? And then the number of runs, see it only populates one run here. I'm going to click there and change it to three runs. Okay, so you have to put input the number of runs here yourself. Red Rhino does not do that for you. Okay, I want to repeat that, okay? Each time that you use the conduit wizard, you must set the number of runs. Red Rhino, or it doesn't measure, it doesn't count them itself. You must input the number of runs on every input using the conduit wizard. Now that said, I said I wanted three number 12s. Notice it defaults at number 12 wire. If I click this drop down, I can select a different size or type wire here see the different sizes. Now I'm going to leave it at 12 stranded here and I need three number 12 so I have to click in this number conductors box and type in three. Okay now I don't need any elbows because the branch or half inch elbows are bent in the field right. If I was doing feeders inch and a half or larger rather inch and a quarter or larger I, I would count the number of 90s and input that quantity here. Okay, now that said, the program defaults at a, a support every 10 feet, okay? Once I'm done with this, uh, the settings in the conduit wizard, for one thing I want to point out that it input the conduit footage here, okay? Now I'm just going to click at the bottom here, modify takeoff. And what that means is it's going to input the conduit, the couplings, the connectors, and supports that I, of the conduit that I just measured. Okay, so again, you select the conduit, the, 
that you want over here and digitize, measure it, open up the wizard, type in or, or set up the application, input the number of runs, very important, and number and size of conductors, okay? And then you click Modify Takeoff, and it inputs all those um, if, uh, materials for the conduit run. Now let me show you that. I'm going to minimize. Now we, we look here in the power folder where we put this in the power um, folder up here. I'm going to click the little plus sign and it displays all the materials that it input from my takeoff over here. See that? Okay, so that's how it works. Now let me show you a little bit more. Now that I've taken off half inch EMT with three number 12s, if I want to take off more on this on the plan or I should say in the same section here then all I do is I go over here and digitize on this side instead okay so in this example there's two more outlets here that, that go to circuit 12 okay so the outlets let me blow it up here you can see them the outlets on these two AC units okay go to circuit LA 12 this one here LA circuit 12 I'm going to tie them together come over here and run it to the panel now what I want to tell you is is once you've already taken off a certain size and type of conduit with with a number of conductors then you would come over here and digitize so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the half inch EMT okay now that reactivates the digitizer I'm simply gonna click from this plug to this plug I'm gonna go over here at a right angle and then I'm gonna run it an extra 20 feet now I'm actually running it down the page but all I'm doing is getting a 20 feet of length or so to drop it to the panel you understand this is a single dimensional uh, blueprint of course but I'm just over rolling it here to to get the um, Oops, okay, so it, I accidentally stopped it there. I want to show you that. Okay, I stopped it. I would have to, in order to extend this down here, I didn't count it. I'll just go back over here and click the green dot again. I'll click here and extend it on down. Click it, stop it, and I'm just run up here and click uh, the digitizer to stop taking off. Okay, now, now you see the conduit wizard flashing down here? It's prompting me to use it. Now, now what it did was it went ahead and measured this conduit, but I have to change the number of runs, okay? So again, it's one run here and one run here. Um, so I have, to, I have to add two runs to this. So I'm going to go to the conduit wizard. It's set up with three runs. I'm going to click there. I'm going to change it to five runs, and then I'm going to click modify takeoff. Now, when I do... It's thinking there. Now, now it changed the quantity of conduit, couplings, connectors, and supports, and wire. Okay. So again, the rule is you go over here the first time and find the materials you're looking for and digitize and count them. Use the conduit wizard to set up everything. And then if you want to take off the same conduit again, you'll go over here and find it, digitize, and take off. Go back to the conduit wizard again and set up the number of runs like we did change the number of runs and then modify takeoff okay that's all for this video but those are the basic characteristics now and I'll have another video about more uh, more things about the conduit wizard here like taking off multiples or maybe taking off feeders okay that's it for this one